Hey YouTube, Longboys Post 1975. This video is an observation. Basically, it's an observation of the retro community. I hope this comes across the right way because I love the retro community and I love the videos, all of them, unboxings, pickups, you know, people hunting out games and stuff like that. This isn't a criticism of that. It's actually, it's not a criticism anyway. I, never be afraid. If you're not being rude, offensive, derogatory, you know, anything like that, never be afraid uh, of the response you may get, you know. And by that, I mean, don't let it dictate your content or your material. I'm waffling at the start of my video, not even at the end. Um, that's a good start. Why do you retro? What, what is the reason you retro? I mean, everyone's got a story, and depending on your age, uh, you know, and where you live, it'll be different for every single person. I think it's a really, really interesting question. I'd love to know the answer. But why did you retro? At some point you didn't retro and then you did. What constantly made you make that decision to go old school? I think it's a brilliant, brilliant question. I mean, I've never hidden this. I mean, my channel exists mainly. I like to think that it's evolved and branched out, but my channel existed originally, sorry, I should say, because I wanted, you know, to piece together my um, my childhood game collection on the Mega Drive. That is. I don't have, you know, big, grand visions of a collection. You know, there's nothing wrong with people do. I just, I, I don't know, call it a midlife crisis or whatever. I wanted to piece together my game collection when I was a kid and it happened to be a Japanese Mega Drive. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you watch back my videos, you could probably play a drinking game based on the number of times I say those terms. Two fingers for every time I say Japanese Mega Drive. You'd be off your tits in minutes. Um, it's expanded, you know. Uh, it's weird. I, I, I am a collector, but I don't consider myself a collector in the sense that my console collection has expanded along the way, but it's expanded in the sense that it's mainly, I've not consciously gone after these things, it's just these things have come into my lap on my travels and I've picked them up simply because I want to experience things I didn't or I wanted to when I was a kid. Now, I'm waffling big time. I've always said, you know, that, that that's what my channel's about and I, I've always put that out there. Now, I watch a lot, a lot of retro channels. I mean, let's be honest, you know, the retro community is my favourite community on YouTube and they're my favourite videos. I could sit there and watch unboxings and pickups all day long. But I've noticed this perfect 50-50 divide. There are people who say, you know, why they do what they do or they state it openly. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And um, not that, as I said, not that there's anything wrong with not doing that. But then I see a ton of videos by channels I love, like I said, I, I, and I, I enjoy their content greatly, but I don't know why they're doing it. And to me, part of the journey, part of the fascination is the story behind each and every purchase. Why you are doing what you're doing, why you hunted that game down, why you went out of your way and drove two hours down the road to pick up a specific console. I think the sort of um, nostalgia, I mean, like... That's the word I was looking for at the start of the video. The nostalgia attached to certain things is as important as showing that item. And I love that. Maybe that's just me. I know the videos we watch are a, a, a question of personal taste. But I love to know why people do it. And I watch loads of channels. And as I say, I really, really enjoy them. But don't know why they do it. Don't know why they do it. And I think that's a shame. I think it, it, it's a great shame. To me, as I said... Oh, I'm really waffling now. It's a journey, and why you ended up where you did is only part of the story. Why you went off in that direction in the first place is the other side, and I want to know that as well. So I don't know, is it is it just me? What do you think? I, I want to know why you retro. I want to know what made you make this conscious decision to go in that direction. Anyway. I'll um I'll shut up before I dig myself even further into a hole. I'll see you there.